Hey, Stephen here. I'd like to show you in three steps on how to relieve the pressure from an implement on our excavator. So first step, we've got our, a grab on and what we need to do is have the grab either fully open or fully closed, which is the best for that. So once that's done, turn our ignition on, hit our auxiliary line button and then activate our switches and rock both right and left. Once that's done, come outside the machine. And here we have a one-way and two-way valve. So in one-way flow, it's saying to you that all the oil from the return from your implement is going straight back to tank. And that's an, an open circuit then. So uh, there's, no, um, there's no blockage of that circuit. If I turn it to two-way, then the spool is stopped. So there's nowhere for the oil to go. And that's what we're trying to avoid. And that's what actually gives you the pressure inside the um, quick couplers that holds it back. So by activating the, turning the valve around to one-way flow, now we've got an open circuit. So we've, remember we've got our grab or implement fully open or fully closed, so we can't move any further. So then we come down to our fittings. Because we've got a, a circuit that's now free to go to the tank, which is this one, so that's the right-hand side. Our pressure is on the right-hand side, and then our return is on the, on the um, sorry, pressure is on the left-hand side, return is on the right-hand side. If I disconnect this one first, then we've effectively closed the circuit off on the lines. So what I need to do is keep this one connected and take the left-hand side one off. So sitting in the seat, left-hand side off first, leaving this one connected. Once that's disconnected, then when you're putting it back on, do it in reverse. So put the right-hand fitting on first, then come around to the left one, put that one on. And then if you're using a grab, and we use the grab as the example again, come back to our valve, turn it into two-way flow, and we can open and close it. That's the most effective way that I've found to relieve the pressure out of the hydraulic system on the Kubotas. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. My details are below and I'm happy to run through it with you. Thank you for watching.